Hi, I am Jignesh Watalia and welcome to CGI Popat. Today we are going to talk about a digital artist. His name is Oli Moss. In this tutorial, we are going to take some inspiration from one of his art styles and make a landscape background art. Let's take a look on some of his works on his website. You can see here all the famous projects he worked on. So let's go to Photoshop and make a cool and simple landscape art. This is a color swatch I have created for this tutorial. Our entire artwork will be made from these colors. To design the landscape art, we will use lasso tool and brush tool. So let's select the lasso tool from the tool panel. With the help of lasso tool, we will create mountain shapes. Make sure to create uneven shapes so it looks like a mountain range. After making the selection, I am gonna fill color in the selected area and for that I am picking one color using eyedropper tool from our color swatch. Then press Alt backspace to fill the foreground color in selected area. So now, my first layer of mountain range is done here and I am gonna make more 5 mountain range layers with different color tones using same process which I have used in the first layer. Let's go for the second layer now. Take one more new layer, then take the lasso tool again and start making another selection. My selection is done now. Now take the eyedropper tool and pick the second color from the color swatch and fill another color in selected area by pressing Alt backspace. It's the same method so I am going to fast forward the mountain creation process. You can see now, I have all 6 separate layers of mountain with different color tones. Now let's do something for the sky area. I am taking a new layer under the all 6 mountains layers and fill color in it and then I will double click on it to give it gradient overlay layer effect. I am gonna check on the gradient overlay effect and give radiant colors from the color swatches. So this will be our sky. Now I'll give some lighting effects on the big mountains which are placed on the last. So grab the lasso tool and start selecting those parts of big mountains on which I want to paint lighting effect. In some portion, I have to give dark color to show the shadow part of the mountain.
see the layer of mountain ranges are done here and now we are gonna create some clouds in sky take a new layer and grab the lasso tool and start making selections for clouds I'm filling white color in cloud shapes Take a new layer and let's make the moon shape behind the big mountain. Let me decrease the opacity of clouds and moon. Yes, my sky part is done here. And now we need plenty of trees in the scene to make it look like a forest. And for that I'm using the brush tool here. Firstly, we need to make a tree shape custom brush. Let me take a new document. Then we will create a tree in Photoshop to make a brush out of it. Take a new layer, then go to filter menu. And then in render there is an option called tree. You can see a new panel to create trees is open on the screen. You can see here many settings to customize a tree. And you can make it as per your requirement. Here in this drop down list, you can get too many different kinds of ready made trees. I'll choose Pine Tree 1. And you can set all the parameters as you want. Press OK. Here we got a tree in new layer. Now I want to make this scene look like a forest. So it will take too many trees in the scene and for that I cannot take copy of this tree layer one by one. It will take too much time. I have to make a custom tree brush from this tree layer so that I can paint too many trees in less efforts. So for that select the tree layer and go to edit menu and click on define brush preset. I'll give the name to this brush tree brush one. Then press ok to save the brush. Now the tree brush is successfully added to brush preset panel. Let's go to our scene and start painting trees. Take a new layer. And before start painting, I'll need to change some brush settings. Let's go to brush setting panel and check on the shape dynamics. I'll increase the size jitter and in brush step shape, I'll increase spacing. So we are ready to paint trees. Choose the same color which we have given in the first mountain range layer. Drag the brush tool on the upper line of the mountain range layer. Every time when I click the tree, size will be different because we have given size jitter to the brush. You have seen how I have painted all the trees on the first layer of the mountain range. You have to follow same process to paint trees on all other layers of mountain range with respective colors. So I am fast following the process, you keep watching. Here I'll make another custom tree brush to get variation in trees. So I have done with tree painting. 
you can see how the whole scene is changed too much after adding trees in it. It looks like a forest scene. Now I'm adding the image of Statue of Unity in the scene. It is the tallest statue in the world. I have already kept it ready to use in the scene. Here it is. Let me drag and drop it to our scene. I'll adjust its size and put it under the first mountain range. Now I'll take a new layer on it and paint some trees to make the image look like merged with the crown. You can see the scene is almost ready. Now I just need to make some color correction on it and for that I'll take an adjustment layer on the top of the document. I'll click on the color lookup and I'll choose 3 strip dot look. So here we completed our beautiful landscape scene. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel.